given me the strength to carry on. You have shown me tonight that I shall not be alone as I go about the discharging of my duties. So many people have asked me what it feels like to come out of Burma for the first time in 24 years. This journey actually started with a short trip to Thailand a couple of weeks ago. And now I've been to Switzerland, to Norway, and I'm here this evening in Ireland. And now I know the answer if people, when people ask me, how does he feel? Moving is the word. By moving, I mean a stirring of the heart, as well as an impetus towards the goal, a, a new impetus towards goal that we've been looking to for the last 24 years. You have helped us greatly. I have to confess that I never knew how many people care for us and for our cause until I started out on this journey, which started in Thailand, as I said, a couple of weeks ago. I was amazed and deeply touched and moved by the warmth that the ties showed, that they demonstrated for me and for my cause. And again, along this journey to the West, in Switzerland, <coughs> in Norway, and now here in Ireland, I've discovered how much more people care. I had not expected this. I had not known how much they cared. This has come as a surprise to me, and a very moving one. I feel very close to you. The British used to refer to the Burmese as the Irish of the East. <laughs> we never quite understood why. Some say it was because we never gave them any peace. <laughs> and others say, others say that it was because uh, our men liked their drink, and we were all rather superstitious. <laughs> but for whatever reason, tonight I feel proud to be your Eastern counterpart. I'm very happy.